Another important feature of a tree is the crown width. The crown width consists of foliage and branches growing outward from the trunk of the tree. To accurately measure this, you will need a measuring tape or a piece of rope. It is also helpful and of course more fun to have a friend helping you. To measure the crown width, we will focus on the cross method. To begin, take the measuring tape or rope to the edge of the tree branches, also known as the drip line. Have a friend hold one end of the tape or rope at this point. Using the measuring tape, measure the crown width by walking with the tape to the outermost point, directly across from your friend. Record your measurement. Where a tree is very large, you can measure from the drip line to the tree trunk, and then from your trunk to the drip line. Stay as true to a straight line as you can. To use the rope method, you simply lay the rope in a straight line stretching from drip line past trunk to drip line. Mark this distance on the rope and measure later when you can access a tape measure. Most trees are not perfectly symmetrical. They don't have an identical number of branches and leaves on each side of the trunk. So, it is good practice to repeat this canopy width measurement perpendicular to your first measurement. Once you have these two widths, you can add them and divide by two to provide you with an average crown width. Congratulations, you now know how to measure the crown width of a tree. Measuring crown width is important because it's strongly correlated with the growth and health of a tree, which are key aspects to creating a tree inventory. Enjoy the outdoors and have fun while measuring the crown width of your city trees. This video describing measurement of a tree's crown width has been brought to you by City Trees. Let's grow.